Hello lovelies, welcome to Night Free Formula, my name is Freedom, thank you for joining me. Um, today's episode, I want to talk about why do narcs lie? Um, before I start though, can I remind you if you like my videos, to like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Alright lovelies, let's get down to it. Why do narcs lie? Um, this is not a simple answer. There are a lot of different reasons, but I want to just expand on this kind of concept of truth telling. Narcissists are, are known for being pretty quick on their feet. They're pretty slick. Okay. In other words, they can think up a lie and they can think it up quick is what I'm trying to say. Um, this is a skill that they've honed over the years. Um, they use it to get themselves out of trouble. They use it to get themselves what they want. They use it to um, create an illusion, to create a facade. They use it to confuse you. And they also use it um, to gauge your reaction. Now, what I mean by this one, because I think you get kind of get all the rest, but what I mean by this last one in particular is Narcissists are always watching us. They're always checking our reactions and our responses. So, sometimes, especially in the beginnings, they will tell you little lies about silly things. Things that really you wouldn't and shouldn't really be lying about. So, for example, I don't know, just say they um, take a day off work and you go into work to see them and they're not there. So, when you go and say, you know, or um, how was your how was your day today they say you know oh, I was flat out I was working all day and and then when you say um, you know no I came and saw you at work and you weren't there right then they say you know oh oh some lie you know I was out the back or whatever whatever it's not because they felt the need to lie about that particular thing what it is, is they're checking your response so they're looking for the signs and signals that you give off when you don't believe them and when you do believe them, right? It's like, um, how do I put it? It's like any, like they rely on this skill. This is, this is part of, you know, their survival, essentially, these skills. So they hone these skills. They work really hard to um, get this stuff you know 100% correct so what that means is they try it this way then they'll try it that way they'll try a lie from this angle and they'll try something different and they're doing it as I said to see what you look like when you don't believe something um, to see you know if they can how easy it is for them to get you to reconsider what you think is the truth you know how easy it is for them to talk you out of it there's lots of things that are going on here so this is why you might catch them with these kind of silly little lies and you think why are they doing that and you you know it doesn't really make sense um i know that i used to catch my husband out all the time with silly little lies um kind of all the way through but that was what it is um one second let me think what that's called sorry I can't think what it is but it's kind of like a fault line test or a Geiger test no the baseline so it's like okay I've got it so it's like when you go and um, have a lie detector test right it's the baseline so they will ask you questions like you know what is your name and they will see the response you give when you're telling the truth Right, and that is how they kind of determine essentially when you're lying and when you're not. So what the narcissist is doing is kind of like the reverse of that. They are looking at what, you know, like I said, the way you react when you don't believe something, you know, or when you half believe something. And they're practicing the art of lying because essentially they are going to need it because they lie so often because they're also going to be sneaking around and doing things behind your back because that's the nature of the narcissist um, and they want to make sure that you know that they don't um, 
um, that they don't get the situation twisted. You know that they know exactly what's going on, that they know where you stand so they know how far they can push a situation. They know when you're going to bust them, when they're going to get caught. Um, you know, they need to stay kind of on point. They need to know this stuff. So that is what I mean when I'm talking about them um, using it to determine, you know, to determine if you believe them or not. So other lies, you know, like the bigger stuff, um, like I said, you know, when they lie, for example, when they create this false construct and they, for example, you know, they've taken three karate lessons, but they tell you they're a black belt in Zendu Kai, right? Which is kind of funny because I know a black belt in Zendu Kai, um, but it's not. And then, you know, to create, to fill out the illusion, we'll actually put a black belt and a karate uniform on display. Uh, in his room. I mean, this is the kind of thing that I'm talking about, right? So they're using lies to help create the illusion of who they are. Because, you know, most people don't, you know, we're kind of quite surface, really. I mean, most people wouldn't push someone. So, for example, if, you know, if someone had a black belt um, uniform hanging up and said that they were a black belt, you know, you wouldn't necessarily drill them or ask them questions or ask for a display um you know you would just kind of take it on face value i suppose and narcs love that because this is how they get away with so much stuff right so they put out their you know their medallions and their ribbons and their uniforms um you know they have books they don't read that's another really interesting i think it's interesting um element of the narcissist you know literally will go and buy books from I don't know op shops or secondhand stores or whatever to display but never read them no god no we just have them on display so people think we've read them and know what's in them I mean it's quite surreal but anyhow that in itself I mean that's not exactly telling the truth is it no it's not I mean it's not a outright lie it's a distortion of the truth but then they could always just turn around and say well I never said I read it you know um, so their character um, you know it's also it's in their nature so it's kind of this part of their dis disorder I mean they lie because lots of different reasons but one of the reasons they lie is because they actually don't you know they're disordered and they don't see reality the right the way the rest of us do so you know when they say something that is illogical or non-factual you know it's in part because they've seen and imagined the world that way um and it's really hard it's like it's almost like you know someone who's experiencing delusions you know delusions of grandeur you know they see themselves as greater than they really are and more accomplished than they really are um, and if they can get you to believe that then that reinforces it in them so then they do start thinking that's right I did earn that black belt you know all those ribbons or medallions or whatever it is that they've got on display you know, if someone believes it, it makes it real to them. It's kind of a really twisted reality with the narcissist and the line. It really, really is. Um, but it actually shows you just how um, deluded their thinking is and also, and disordered, like they have, you know, so many, um, you know, unfunctioning kind of patterns of thinking that they have. Um you know, just basic stuff that someone who's kind of healthy, I suppose, wouldn't, um, you know, put together. Things like, you know, if they see some two people walking down the street, they assume that those two people are actually together, even though they were just two people walking down the street that happened to be near each other. Um, you know, in the narcissist's mind, that they're creating a story in their mind about what's actually going on there, and they believe that because they're absorbing signs and signals from all over the place and then they are figuring it all out in their brains except their brains are disordered 
so the story you know doesn't actually make sense to anyone but themselves and this is why they have their moments of being really paranoid and jealous and insecure and overreacting to things um you know it's it's not it, it can't be a nice thing being a narcissist you know and, and i'm not i don't have any um compassion for them because they this is a choice that they make these are choices that they continue to make despite the fact that you know it's having huge negative impacts upon them and their families and they just don't care like they really just don't care as long as at the end of the day they're getting their needs and wants um serviced and met you know they're fine they you know they don't care um so yes so with the lying like i said you know they can essentially make anything it's like they've They've got this magical thinking they can make anything into any sorry anyone into anything so for example you know the, whoever they're with at that point in time they can make that person their soulmate they imagine it so therefore it is right and by the same token when they're done with that person they can now put that person into a different character different role and move on to the next person and create um a false relationship with this next person and that's see that's also dishonest that's also not factual and not based in reality so this is what i'm saying with the lying with the narcissist it's so you know it's so much a part of who they are because they're just not based in reality you know um especially when they're kind of in the first stages of you know these new relationships they get so high on you know all the chemicals and all the endorphins and all the stuff that's going on and on the fuel that they're getting um you know they lie to themselves they tell themselves like yes finally found the one this is the one that's going to make life awesome for me you know and so they ruin whatever marriage or life they had going on and go off with the new supply you know lying to themselves lying to her and you know no one's the wiser until it all turns to shit and it does and it will because you can't build anything on lies you can't be a person built on lies you can't build a relationship on lies um you know the 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 very nature of narcissists and lying is that they lie about everything so nothing is real nothing you know absolutely nothing not their relationships not their experiences not their memories none of it's real so for those of you who are ever wondering you know or something happened and i just don't know if he's telling the truth um yeah i can guarantee you it's probably not it's either a blatant lie a half truth um a distortion you know or the truth with a little bit of a twist you know or another angle of the lies is um you know when they um like I said, they kind of just distort the truth or they say it in an ambiguous way so you know it could have meant one thing but it might have meant another and it depends on you know the listener or how they took it um they're pretty good with that kind of thing i've got to say they're pretty good with that all i know is this is in the uh, three years since i've been separated i have not once ever had to think did that person just lie to me right but when I was in my situationship, that thought crossed my mind so often. It was a joke. I, you know, my, um, my, my intuition and my instinct was kicking off left, right and centre. My sixth sense was kicking off all the time. All the time I was thinking, you know, I was getting these reactions and these feelings. It was like, why am I feeling like that? Okay, and it was my um, sixth sense trying to tell me, you know, I was being lied to. But the thing is, lies lie they never come out and say they that they are dishonest they will always say i'm the most honest person you have ever met right that's what liars do they lie so they set the narrative and so from the get-go you're believing that a liar is actually a really honest person and so you don't ever um you know stop to fact check any of the 
lies going on. You, know, you just assume that it's all true, that everything they're saying is true. And for me, it wasn't until, you know, the end of a really long relationship that I realized so much of what I had believed as fact and as truth was actually just lies. Lies, fabrications, half-truths, you know, distortions of the truth. Yeah, it's just no way to live, darlings. This is why we just do not communicate with them at all. We don't have anything to do with them. We go no contact and stay no contact because it's not healthy. None of it's, you know, healthy. And if you if you do have to have any contact with them, if it's because of children or whatever, you know, business, whatever, just remember that 99% of the time, I can almost guarantee that it's going to be, they're going to be lying to you. Okay? So if your intuition is telling you the line, trust yourself. Okay, learn to start trusting yourself. Especially if you've been around them, for, you know, for a certain amount of time. You'll know, your intuition will tell you. You'll know when they're lying. All right, lovelies, thank you for watching today. And um, if you've got anything to say, like I said, leave it in the comments. Um, at the end of um, each week, I will be drawing... Um, one winner for uh, the NARC free challenge so it's valued at $99 um, I'll be giving away one um, free challenge to a random person who's commented so remember to comment all right lovelies thank you for watching and um, I'll talk to you not tomorrow but the day after bye